Hey guys, so we partnered with Omaze and you have the chance to win an Airstream Caravel and a 2021 Ford F-150 at omaze.com slash Romaru. Keep watching to find out all the details. Okay, so I've been planning a little birthday surprise for Scott. It's his birthday at the end of the month and due to our crazy schedule, it's kind of hard to plan something for him with the people he wants when he wants it. So Scott told me that he wants to go rock climbing for his birthday with one of his best friends, Andrew. Now you guys remember Andrew from our Moab video. Wow, smell like rich mahogany. I think he's out. That's delightful. <laughs> that is delightful. Yes, news approved. So Scott doesn't know this yet, but we're gonna meet up with Andrew, his girlfriend Ashley, and his dog Kicker to go explore Ho National Forest for the weekend. Do you know anything about this? I just got a text from Andrew. And he said we're meeting up with him near Ruby Beach in Olympic. What? Is there, no. did you know about this? It was supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> well, surprise, happy birthday. <laughs> we're gonna meet up with them? Yeah. Oh, cool. Been scheming with Andrew and Ashley on the set. I don't think he, uh, I don't think he knew that he wasn't supposed to say anything. He knew it was supposed to be a surprise. Come on, Andrew. Well, I hope. I'll have, I'll have to call him and say thank you for the, the surprise. Well, I hope you're excited. You're gonna see your boy. I am, I'm pumped. This will be fun. How long are we there for? We're gonna be there three nights. <laughs> Andrew. Surprise. He blew it. Andrew, come on. <laughs> it's supposed to be a surprise, dude. <laughs> We traveled over 5,000 miles from Maine to Washington just so we could hit the northwest corner of the continental U.S., Olympic National Park and Ho National Forest. So Olympic National Park is a biosphere reserve and a world heritage site. And it's home to sugar gliders and sea otters, some of the cutest animals in the entire world. And the Ho Rainforest is one of the few rainforests in the United States. So we're gonna spend the next few days just exploring this entire area with some of our best friends, Ashley, Kicker Dog, oh yeah, and uh, Andrew as well. To be honest, I can't be seen with this whole situation happening here. I'm a little embarrassed. I'm su surprised, babe. <laughs> yeah, cool. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> Yay, let's go. I found that this little attachment, which I couldn't find for a few weeks has made packing up so much easier. After living our best lives in our Airstream for the past year, we want to pay it forward to you. Thanks to our friends at Omaze, we are happy to announce that you could potentially win an Airstream and a Ford F-150. So you'll have the chance to win a 20-foot Airstream Caravelle. And if you've been following along, ours is a 22-foot Bambi. The Caravelle is actually an upgrade from the Bambi. You have a memory foam mattress, you have a shower, you have a kitchen with upgraded appliances, you have ultra leather seating. I mean, this thing is glamping at its finest. It is beautiful. Along with that, you can win a 2021 Ford F-150 Lariat 4x4. This is my dream truck, I have to admit. I mean, it's got the right engine that I want, it's got the V6, it's turbocharged, it's got the four-wheel drive, it's the, it's the F-4 by Ford 150, it's the high-end four-wheel drive. It's everything I would want. <sighs> Someday I'll have that, but maybe you guys will have that very soon. I think Scott wants to enter this. I have a feeling. Yes, <laughs> 
And the best part about this is all of this supports a very good cause. The donations go towards the Independence Fund Charity. This is a great fund that supports our veterans to overcome physical, mental, and emotional wounds. For your chance to win this awesome Airstream Caravelle and Ford F-150, enter at the link below at omaze.com slash Romaroo. side of the road waiting for Andrew Diva Muse to be ready so that we can go to the Ho Rainforest and walk around. So they are parked right here on the road. Can you hear that road noise? And we're telling them to come over to our campsite. So hopefully tonight they'll score two spots for Liam, Andrew and Ashley, right at Calawak or Calawatch. I'm not sure how to pronounce it yet. Can't pronounce. Oh look! <laughs> filming, uh, filming, doing filming. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So we are headed into the Hall of Mosses, which uh, is the famous spot to come into. I guess I should tell you where we are. <laughs> we are at the Ho National Forest, which is in Olympic National Park. And let's walk the street. We're going to the famous stop, the Hall of Mosses, which is supposed to be full of moss, I think. So. <laughs> yeah, it's our first stop and we're super excited. Pretty chill, not like a lot of hiking, but uh, seems to be a pretty popular spot so far. So we made it to the best spot in the whole Hall of Mosses, which is the Maple Grove. And you can see behind me why everyone comes here. This is where all the iconic shots of the Ho National Forest are taken. Moss just dripping off the trees. So the spruce trees in the Ho National Forest can get up to 300 feet. Guys, think about that. That's 100 yards. That's a football field, but up. <laughs> We are camping at a very special campground. It's called Kalala Campground, and it is in Olympic National Park, but you gotta take a look at this view. Now, Rob Taylor of Two Travel Dads recommended this place to camp, and Rob, thank you so much, because this place is glorious. Come here and look at this view. campground site that is right on the water. Now this spot is D31. Last night it was first come first serve and tonight we could book it ahead of time. So we got two nights here at 22 bucks a night. Not too bad. So we're in the process of getting ready right now, just packing up some bags. But Andrew is going to take us, or at least me, surfing. Maybe stand up paddle boarding, not really sure, but it's a little chilly here. So I'm a little nervous. Coco, you think you'll hit the water? Probably not. I'm going to be totally transparent with you. Probably not, but I'm going to be a really good cheerleader. <laughs> That's right. Uh, it's a little too cold for Coco. It's actually a little too cold for me, but you know it's when like you're... 55 in the water, but it's a warm 55. But when your friend asks you to go, you got to go. <laughs> Okay, so we've made it to Ruby Beach, and I understand why Andrew brought us out here. It's pretty nice. We drove 15 minutes from one beach to this beach, but you can look. Beautiful rocks, tons of people out here. 
Beautiful. What, what are we getting into? Uh, we're gonna go try and surf. The waves are super small, but just getting in the water will be fun. Scott's gonna get on an inflatable sup and try and catch some waves. There's a couple good ones happening out there. Um, and also we might come back for some climbing here. There's a few sea stacks that could be pretty fun if we get creative. So Andrew is one of the few people in my life who make me nervous. And you need to have people like that make you nervous because... I make you nervous, Scotty? Sometimes. Ooh. Sometimes. You take me <laughs> on the mountains and you're like, let's just go. Yeah. Nice. He's, uh, he's my mountain man friend. Yeah. Scott. Let's get it. I would like to boulder this thing, but I would definitely want a bouldering head below me. that after a few waves I was like oh wedding ring what's happening so got up this morning got my cup of coffee my binoculars and in the distance it looks like there's an otter playing in the waves yeah, I thought I saw a raft of otters in the distance and a seal swimming in the waves, but it turns out it's a little otter guy. Hey, What's what a raft of otters, Scott? A raft of otters is a group of otters that float around. I thought I saw them from the Yeah, so, so wait till the, you'll see a head pop up. No, because they're not the little Asian otters that like to play. They're probably Pacific otters that are way bigger. Fun fact, we played with otters one time. Link here. <laughs> Like most days that we start with the Muse Rummer, they come over and visit us. We got Kicker Dog as the guard dog. What's up, Kicker? And they come over to enjoy our beautiful flat whites. We got everyone in the rig. Hooray! Hooray! Yay! <laughs> There's the star of the show. Oh, yeah, lick that little furry thing. Mm -hmm. 